H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. And date and month based on the pattern layout that we have used for the console. And similarly, like in console, if I refresh this particular project, uh, refresh this particular project, and I should get the log information in terms of R format and HTML format in the log folder which is not getting created out here so I need to do, look at the log dot properties this should create a log folder and test log dot log in the project when I actually refresh the project so to see that log folder is created or not there is no log folder created so what we need to do is we need to use this particular below method the method is the configure method of the base configurator class what does this method do if we do not use this configure method of the base configurator class the following warning will be shown warning no appendix could be found for logger okay or please initialize the log for your system properly and warning see the particular URL for getting what is the warning coming in now you see that login information is not created inside the log folder of the project for HTML format and R format and this is not happening because I have not used this particular method if you go back out here this occurs when the default configuration files uh, that is log 4j our in our case it is log dot properties file or log 4j dot xml cannot be found and the application performs no explicit configurations so log 4j uses this particular uh, get resource method of the get context class loader method to locate the default configuration file that is the log 4j dot properties file or log 4j dot xml file and does not directly check the file system so knowing the appropriate location to place the log 4 properties file or log 4 xml file requires understanding the search strategy of the class loader in use. Log 4 does not provide a default configuration since output to the console or to the file system may be prohibited in some environments. So what we need to do is that we need to go back to our script out here and in this login info class file before we start creating a login information for this particular class using the get logger method of the logger class we need to initiate this base configurator class and this is a method so I can pick up from here directly if I wish to just go back and pick it up Base, basic configurator dot configure method and I No proposals are for it. So basic configurator dot. So we'll go back to it and escape and try to copy it from here. To we'll see, go back to my project and use it.
and this can be created and another configurator method needs to be created so this is I am not getting the result for that and the I am not getting I am not able to import the class file the problem is that I have not used the log4j API out here if you go to the project right click go to properties go to the Java build path and go to libraries have I used the log4j API out here I have not used it that is why I am not able to import the basic configurator class and use the configure method of it so what I need to do is that first of all I need to go to uh, Chrome or any website which uh, browser which is open go to Google out and you can just write down log4j it's basically an API from Apache a log4j download I can basically look at this and it's from Apache you can see that and you go to download this particular zip you can download it from here so you can basically choose one of the mirrors and download it the latest version is 1.2.17 so I have already got it downloaded you can unzip it uh, rather and uh, I already have it downloaded so what I need to do is right click on the project go to properties go to build path go to library add external jar files so I have the external jar files out here jar and wars log 4 j 1.2.17 this is the latest and this is the folder that you will get after you extract that particular zip folder open it and this is the log 4 j jar click on open this gets connected with your project that is session 38 and go to order and export click on select all and say ok the moment you do that come back to the class file over your mouse over the basic configurator and then you can import basic configurator which is one of the classes present in your log4j API so this will allow you to search for that configuration file of log4j and the configuration file is log4j.properties file or log4j.xml file because of this login information is not created in the log folder for HTML format and for your R format. Once done, then we can see the next part of the PPT. The next part of the PPT talks about the. So let us look at the next part of the PPT. It talks about one more class file called property configurator.configure, and you have to pass on the properties file that is the configuration file the log4j.properties file or log4j.xml file why this method has to be used the properties configurator class allows the configuration of log4j for an external file and we are using an external uh, file that is having an extension of dot properties or dot xml configure uh, will actually method will actually read the configuration option from the properties file if we do not use this log file will not be created in the destinations defined and the destinations defined if we see that the destinations defined are these so it is creating in the console of eclipse it is creating the logging information but in these destinations the log information is not created for R format, for TTCC format, and for HTML format. And why it is not created? Because of this particular reason that we have not used the property configurator class and the method of that called the configure method. And this method is responsible for creating the log files in the destinations defined in the configuration file of log4j. And in our in our case, that the, the configuration file is log.properties file. So let us go back to it. Go to my Eclipse 
go to the class file and we have to create the class file called as property configured dot configure and where we have to create it this has to be created after the get logger method is used so property configurator dot configure there and we have to pass on the properties file and so what is the properties file name log dot properties spelling and this spelling is a problem out here you can see that this is not a perfect spelling so we have to correct the spelling so how do we correct the spelling Re rename it this will be properties r was missing log dot properties So log dot properties so I can just rename go to pick it up copy it go back to my login info class file here we have to give the properties file name in the string format but this is going to the configure method of the property configurator class is going to create the login information on these parts for our TTCC and HTML right now we can run the class file so we'll see that it is showing me the console information of logs out here this is the CISO information and the console information pattern layout has this particular pattern to show the time stamping date stamping and the other information required the pattern layout for console can be changed and it can be changed in this particular dot properties file the pattern layout for the console is this so this can be changed so based on this pattern layout the console of Eclipse is showing you the pattern that is the timestamp the date stamp etc so I'm getting the log information respectively in uh, in your console right now and plus I'm getting the CISO information also when I close the console the log information and the and the CISO information gets lost but I've run the class file now I can refresh the project right click refresh you will see the log information gets created now in the folder called log because this is what we have done so in the present project create a log folder inside that create a log information in R format TTCC format and HTML format so if we expand the log folder this is the HTML format login information and if I right click after highlighting go to properties and choose this particular path copy it open our browser and paste that particular path and click on enter I shall get the log information so right now the log information is not coming for certain reasons anyways we will go back and try to open up this in right click open with the web browser so I'm not getting any login information right now if I open up test log I do not get any information if I open up this I don't get any information so login information does not get created there might be some problem so what I can do is for the sake of simplicity I'll create rename this properties file as log 4j dot properties file say ok and now run the class file this is the class file run it once for let me close all these things run the class file right now and in the login information class file I have to change the properties file to log4j so ensure this name and this name is same dot properties file 
and then I can go and run this particular class file after saving so the log information is coming in console as it was coming earlier <clears throat> but let us see about the log information in R format HTML format TTC format so right click and refresh the project let us see if anything is created or not nothing is created so it should get created because of some problem it is not getting created whatever is the reason so I'll try to open up in web browser or as a HTML editor so it does not get created so I will have to delete this and run the class file again I'm getting the login information as 50 for C everything I'm getting in the console but if I refresh the project I do not get the log information it's probably some problem with the log 4j dot properties file sometimes it is also a problem with the jar file so what you can do is that you can go to properties go to build path and you got to remove this and there is a log file in Web driver to its call. So let's check it out. So anyways, uh, I think there's some problem with the jar file. It is not compatible with the Eclipse latest version or not compatible with the Java JDK version or JRE version. Sometimes it happens like that. So that's about it. That is how we can create the log information. If you have any problems, please revert to us. Thanks very much.